What's up, guys? Chancey seeing you here. All right, what's going, guys? Trainer Mystic back here with a new video. And sorry, before I uh, start talking about anything, sorry that I haven't been posting lately. I've just been really busy with stuff, but we're back, and we're back with more, and I'm back with more news. So let's get started. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over the um, upcoming uh, winter-related updates uh, for Pokemon Go in January. So let's begin with um, this news that got posted on December 14th, so it's going to be a little late. So it's going to say the Pokemon Go Holidays event is back, and it started today at 8 o'clock a.m., and then it's going to end on Thursday, December 31st, 2020 at 10 o'clock p.m., and then features are going to include uh, Pokemon and holiday costumes, uh, Pikachu, Dilly Bird, and Cub Chew are going to be wearing new holiday-themed costumes in Pokemon Go. Um, and then Pokemon appearing in the wild will include um, Spiel, Snover, and more. And then a new Gen 6 Pokemon, Vanillite, the fresh snow Pokemon, will be making its Pokemon Go debut. Um, and then the uh, Pokemon that hatching from eggs will include Seal, Swinub, Smeachum, Snowrun, Snover, and Vanillite, which... And they'll be hatching from the 5k eggs. And then Pokemon um, that are going to be appearing in raid battles include Alolan Sandshrew, Dugong, Jinx, which can now be shiny, I believe. Or I don't know if it's already been shiny. And then um, Cryogonal. And then if you're, yeah, if you're lucky, you might even encounter a shiny Jinx. So I've seen, I've heard some people um, already get them. And then Mega Bomb Snow will be appearing in Mega, still continue to be in Mega Raids and be even more powerful throughout the event. Um, and then uh, exclusive field research um, will include rewards with um, Vanillite and Crayogonal. So two amazing winter Pokemon, one of them being the new one, new Gen 6. And then there's going to be, we're going to, we have, uh, this is all happening right now. So I'm reading this news that came out from December 14th. So. And then um, the all the holiday themed stickers and that you can get from Pokestops, Shifts, and the guy in the uh, shop. Uh, the stickers will be of uh, Vulpix, Krogunk, Whimsicott, and more during the event. And then you won't be able to get the stickers after the event is gone. So get them um, as before. Get them uh, right now if you really are into the stickers. And then the AR mapping task rewards um, will. Um, you can earn um, a bomb of snow mega candy and encounter snow run as well, which can be shiny. And uh, the snow run, the snow run spotlight hour was also tonight local time. And then uh, you it says take note trainers will benefit from uh, different bonuses throughout the event starting today until December thirty first, and then open up more gifts per day for the duration of the event. The number of gifts you can uh, open daily will increase to 45. And then carry, you can carry more gifts for the duration of the event. Um, will be And you'll be able to hold, um, it says, in your iron bag will increase to 40 um, gifts. So now you can hold 40 gifts and you can um, open 45 gifts. But it doesn't say how many you can send a day, um, every day. And then we got from Thursday, um... This, like I said, it happens from today at 12 o'clock a.m. to Wednesday, December 23rd. Oh, wait, no. From Tuesday, December 22nd, 2020, which is today, at 12 o'clock a.m. until Wednesday, December 23rd, which is tomorrow, at 11.59 p.m., you will get uh, two times rate XP. And then from Tuesday, Thursday, December 24th, 2020, at 12 o'clock a.m. until Friday, December 25th, which is Christmas, at 11.59 p.m., Local time, two, uh, you'll get two times catch candy for whatever Pokemon you catch. And remember, if you use, I believe, pineapple berries, you'll get even twice the amount of the uh, twice catch candy. So I believe that's going to be like six or something. And then from Saturday, December tw 26, 2020, until uh, 12 o'clock a.m. till Sunday, December 27th, 2020, at 11 59 p.m. local time, will be a two times star piece duration. Um, so be sure to place those down during that time period, uh, so you can get twice the XP, uh, with the star piece. And then Monday, December 28th, 2020 at 12 o'clock a.m. until Tuesday, December 29th, 2020 at 
local time, PM local time, two times lucky egg duration, which will also give you XP. So, um, two times uh, lucky egg XP, I believe, when you either, I think when you catch stuff. So yeah, that's everything with all the two times stuff. And then it says warm up with a win a special one hour weekend event during the first final weekend in uh, in December of 2020. You will come to look forward to a special winter event. And this will take place this weekend on Saturday, December 26, 2020 at 8 o'clock a.m. until Sunday, December 27th, 2020 at 10 o'clock uh, p.m. local time. And then uh, Regis Reg Reg will return our raids and you can um, get the shot. You know, it will be shiny, but I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's boosted or not with the weather boost and stuff, maybe. And then uh, complete AR mapping tasks to include to earn incense and more. So if you really want those incenses, if you can't afford to get them from the shop, then that's that's your uh, chance to get them. And then Pokemon attracted to incense more frequently will include Deli Bird, Snow Run, Spiel, Snowbird, Cryogonal, and Cubchoo. And Cubchoo can now be shiny. So yeah, that's everything from eight eight days ago. Um, next we got um, the ne the next community day in January, which will be the fighting type Pokemon Machop. Um, when you get it says when you get knocked down, you have to get back up. So that's a quote. When you get knocked down, you get just get back up. Despite missing the chance to be featured in last February's community day, Machop, the superpower Pokemon, uh, never gave up. That resilience has paid off because Machop will appear will start on the upcoming January community day. And you can be sure it'll make the most of it. And then I'm going to look and see what the exclusive noob is going to be. Uh, Bulb Machoke. Okay, it's going to be Payback. So that's going to, I believe that's going to be the new, um, that's going to that's gonna be the new um, exclusive noob. And then if you take a couple snapshots uh, during the C-Day, you'll get um, a possible shiny, uh, you'll get a um, photo bomb from the chop. With a potential shiny when it spawns on the in the overworld, and then there's gonna be a one one dollar um, ticket or the equivalent pricing tier in your local currency, um, and the ticket's gonna be called straight to the top Machop. And then if you purchase a ticket for the Pokemon Go Tour Kanto event by Wednesday, January thirteenth, two thousand twenty, at uh, two thousand twenty one actually at eleven fifty nine p.m. Um, PSD and then GMT-8, don't know what that means. You'll get the special research story for free. So, uh, to break it down, if you get the um, the new Pokemon Go Tour Kanto ticket, which is in the shop right now for $12 uh, for January, once the January CD uh, from a chop comes up, you'll get the, the, um, the I believe the Machop research for, uh, story for the Community Day will be free in the um, shop, uh, in the um, can't do a thing, I believe. Let me break, yeah, yeah, that, I think that's what it says. If I might be wrong. Um, yeah, yeah, so I believe you get the ticket for Machop, and then it's, if you get the Kano ticket, the uh, um, Machop C-Day research thing is gonna pop up um, in the two-day view. Anyway, um, it says, uh, stay tuned for when tickets for the Machop C Day ticket will thing will pop up, and then they're not not refundable, and then bonuses for the C Day will include three times catch Stardust incense activated during the event will last for three hours, and so that's everything for the Machop C Day in January. Next we got um, January Spotlight hours. So on Tuesday, January fifth, we'll have Lily Pup, which be shine can be shiny, and you want. Know you earn twice the Stardust for catching Pokemon, and then Tuesday, Tuesday, January twelfth, two thousand twenty-one, will be Drifling, which can be shiny, and then twice the XP, and then um, Tuesday, January nineteenth, two thousand twenty-one, will be Shroomish, which can't be shiny, but you'll enter twice the candy for for catching Pokemon, and then Tuesday, January twenty-sixth, will be Fampy. So yeah, not not really exciting C day. Uh, not really exciting spotlight hours. And then, um, so yeah, that's all the sp crappy spotlight hours. I'll, I'll probably just look for the shiny Drifling because I still don't have that yet. I have one shiny Lily Pup. I could probably use like one or two, maybe one or two more to complete the set. But I don't care for Fan P or Shumish. Unless somehow they come out as shinies, but I doubt it. Because if they were to come out as shinies, 
they would have told us. Anyway, um, for the for the January breakthrough box, um, it will be Chansey, uh, the pink Pokemon with the egg on it, from Friday, January first, two thousand twenty-one, at one o'clock p.m. till Monday, February first, two thousand twenty, at one o'clock p.m. And then the five the Pokemon in five star raids will include Ho Oh, um, from January first, two thousand twenty-one. At 1 o'clock p.m. until Tuesday, January 5th. So that's like four days, I believe. At 10 o'clock a.m. local time. And then Genesect, Genesect holding a burn drive, which I don't know what that means, will be appearing in raids from Tuesday, January 5th, 2021. At 10 o'clock a.m. Um, until um, January... Wait, it says... Uh, Genesect holding a burn drive will be appearing in raids from Tuesday, January 5th, 2021. At 10 o'clock a.m. until January, Tuesday, January 12th, uh, 2021, at 10 o'clock um, a.m. local time. Sorry if I kind of messed that up. I didn't read it correct. And then we're going to have Heat Trim coming back on Tuesday, January 12th, 2021, at 10 o'clock a.m. until Tuesday, January 19th, 2021, at 10 o'clock a.m. local time. And then Kyogre and Groudon. Groudon, yeah, will be appearing in raids from Tuesday, January 19th, 2021, at 10 o'clock a.m. until um, Tuesday, January 26th, at 10 o'clock a.m. local time. And then a surprise Pokemon will be appearing in raids beginning on Tuesday, January 26th, at 10 o'clock a.m. local time. So all those Pokemon, like all those legendaries I just named, they can be shiny, but we still don't know what the surprise Pokemon is. I'm going to go on the blog and see if that's all the information. Uh, and then it just says more about um, Poke Mega Mega Pokemon. And then a cert on Tuesday, January 19th, 2021, a certain Mega Evolved Pokemon will make its Pokemon Go debut in Mega Raids. More details will come to light as we get closer to the date. And then Mega Venusaur and Houndoom will also be appearing in Raids again on January 19th. With Mega Houndoom being even more powerful from Tuesday, January 26th, January, Tuesday, January 26th, 2021, till through Monday, oh, sorry, not till, uh, through Monday, February 8th, 2021, and then the spotlight hours, um, and then it says, celebrate 2020 with our New Year's themed event. Happy 2020, wait, no, it'll be 2021, oh, yay, oh, that's actually awesome. Turns out Slowpoke is just too late to the games as always. Silly Slowpoke. For the New Year's event, you can expect new costume Pokemon like a Silly Slowpoke wearing 2020 glasses, and new avatar items, as well as the return of some familiar Pokemon wearing uh, party hats. This will run from Thursday, December 31st, which is next week, 2020 at 10 o'clock p.m. to Monday, January 4th, 2021 at 10 o'clock p.m. And then it just talks about, it says um, more a little bit more about the Kanto event. It says, celebrate the uh, different regions of the Pokemon world in January. As we count down the days till Pokemon Go Tour Kanto um, Day, we'll be celebrating during the season, uh, season of celebration with events themed around the, uh, with events themed around the different regions of the Pokemon world. Different weeks will uh, highlight Unova, Sinnoh, Hoenn, and Jota, as Pokemon originally discovered from those regions will be appearing more often in the wild. So we're going to see some new familiar faces and you'll be able to get more of the shinies again. And then it says, stay tuned for more details this week on the Unova celebration event, which begins on Tuesday, January 5th at 10 o'clock a.m. local time. And then collection challenges coming soon. And then it says, whether you're new to Pokemon Go or a, a seasoned trainer, collection changes provide a handy guide to catching Pokemon. So it's going to be a new feature. Um, feature during these. Um, provide a handy guide to catching Pokemon. Feature during certain events. Look out for the launch of uh, collection changes in early January of 2001. So let's see. I believe that's the last thing, right? Yeah, that is going to be the last. That will be the uh, last part of the news. And um, I'm going to, so that's the end of the news for today. 
and I'm gonna wrap it up here. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like. Be sure to uh, sub. Leave a like and comment what you're most excited for. And I will see you in the next video. Ciao.